ongaluena u malaba sa faya e Yesu ile tolu malafa tausana au yai o ya ile lalo langi o ata u malaba ya o le tupu manu malo le olo o faita wina yo lato tu la fono ma tu sia perfecta ai lilo yo lato manatu e fio mai o ya ina ia madiu il fai u malaba leva ya soa fai pu el dos fulu malfa na tato Fa'alu ngolongo ai upu a ofeta la Yesu i upu fa'apea. Ai a fai e pala le fua le saito. Ona fua ai lea, ona fua mai ai lea, o fua e tele. Fai pwe tolu suma le lua fa mai Yesu. O a ufoi a fai e si itia u aile ele ele. O te to sina mai ta ngata ya te ya u. Fai upu ya na tato fa'alu ngolongo ai a o a mata o na fa'alawi loa mai Yesu. Le itua inga oti, pole itua inga maliu, e maliu wai o ia. O ana upu fo ina fai loa mai ai, lona ono sai tele. Malana tu u ava noa, yona tangata. Fe ipo tolu suma lima na yaya na upu fa apea. E toi titi na yaso. O yate o tou le mala malama. Ah, tato i loa. E le o toi umi se temi. Le o si na fia e yesu. Toe inai aso, toe inai itu la, ona afio eselea ole mana malama, maile o ngato tolu o Israelu, ma le lilo itangata, o ia lava olea mana malama. Ile tolu male afata usana sa faatino ai e Yesu, lana ngaluena, ma le tala ina ole salamo, ma le malo olona tama, Ilona nuu maona tangata, ile mtaupule esfulu male lua, peyo ita ato vaava ai iai, peyo le toe au ngani, male toe olenga, male toe vala au, vala au lea alifaola, yona tangata, ah. Le sa tato vaa ai iai, eo olava ilana toe vala au fa mai, sa yai ila ato na talitonu. Peyo kwe fasfun male lua fa mai, Ai pe itai e te o tele ali i ua tali tonu ya te ia. Ai le ua tatu ilo, le tali tonu lea, e le o se tali tonu fa a maoni. Fa pe feo na tatu ilo, fa mai, ai le i ta ua tu wai ona o le au farasario. Mana tu o fo i tatu, o le muta upe ono a, fa mai le muta upe ono te o tele i la to na tu ua le muli muli ya te ia. Ona e faina ta ya te i la to, le upu na feta laima ya Yesu o a unei, Ole a reto, ole ola a. Amen? Mana tuwa fo ili mta kwe lua, fa imai le, ili amatanga lava ole ngalwena fa ata ala ya Yesu, na fa ape ai, na to otele ila to we na tali tomu, ai fa imai uasila fia e Yesu o lato loto. So ila ta to te ilo ai, e yeile te ni e, fo li nga maie fili fili ele tangata ile le tali tomu. Ile atua. Ile alo ole atua. Le epe na tato wa ava aya ile vayaso na tua na inei na fai wina na tato mata upu ia liki yon nuu wa fa mai ua lato le talitonu ona ole au faraseo ne itulia ila ato mai le sunako awa esili lo la ato manao ile vi inga mai tangata ile vi inga mai le atua. Pe yole ata lea ole talitonu Ma le le talitonu, ma le loto lava o le tangata. A ile fai upu e tolu spul ma le fitu le vayaso na te anei. Na yai fo i le isi itua ina le talitonu na tato wa o a o ina. Ina ua fa apea le upu a yesu, a le tusi, a le apostolo yuane. Fai mai, a ile i talitonu i la atou ya te ia. Ina ia tau nu uai upu a le perufeta a isaia. O le leta li tonu lea, ina ia ta unu uwai upu ale perofeta, pe ina ia ta li tonu, ina ia leta li tonu, ina ia ta unu uwai ne fina ngalo o le atua. So e faa te ya Israelu, ua lato u leta li tonu, ai lilo yo lato manatu, ua lato u leta li tonu, ona o upu na uluwai perofeta mayai isaia. O le tae aula le nei, i fai upuia muli muli aula le atato va ava aia nga iai, ma i fai upuia fast fuma le lima nga i le lima se fulu, 
Pio i e tau au whai a ngā i ei, upu a Iesu, e whaata tau i le le tali tonu o ona tangata. So I gave a quick summary in uh, Psalm 1 around our chapter 12. So right from the beginning of chapter 12, and I'm just going to give you a brief summary, and it's pretty much on that uh, slide there. But it gives us an image or a picture of the final week that Jesus was in before he was about to be crucified by the end of the week. Uh, in the beginning, we saw the story of Mary um, and how she wept and how she poured uh, nard onto Jesus' feet. And, she, uh, and she, her actions expressed generous love and generous worship towards the Savior. At the same time, we see Judas, uh, who was one of the twelve, but he ultimately becomes the one who betrays the Savior. By Monday, we see Jesus coming into Jerusalem, and then we hear the crowds of people that lay palms, palm branches and their clothes on the path, and they shout, Hosanna to the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus starts to teach the crowds that he must die, that he came to die. He says there in verse uh, 32, and if I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all men to myself. This he said, signifying by what death he should die. So Jesus was telling the people in the crowds, remember the crowds were the ones gathered there for the feast of Passover. And so he was teaching people and telling people about his upcoming death. Last week we heard that Jesus was long suffering with the Jews and this was his final invitation his long suffering was the fact that he was saying a little while longer the light is with you he was talking about him he was talking about the fact that after he dies he will return back to the father and israel and the jews will no longer have the light but this morning uh, we come to the ending of our chapter 12 and from verses 44 through to 50 we're going to look at uh, specifically what Jesus actually says. And these verses here actually are consequences of unbelief. Maita <laughs> So our sermon this morning, uh, we're looking at consequences of unbelief. Unbelief of who? The unbelief of the Jews and the people of Israel. Ah, okay, so that's the context of what we're reading and who these verses are talking about or who Christ is talking to. If I know to fear Talanoi, the Litao, Momua, or the Tom Uma, the letter Litonu, in the Walato letter Litonu, Ilea Tua Litama, Lua, or the Tom Uma, or the letter Litonu, in the Uatu Mau, Ilepo Uni Tonu, or the Tom Uma, or the letter Litonu, in the Ualena Wai, Fa, or Tom Uma, or the letter Litonu, or the Fababau, or the Tangata. So, four parts of our sermon today. We're going to look at the consequences of unbelief. Number one, because they deny God as the Father. Two, because they remain in darkness. Three, they remain in disobedience. And four, consequences of unbelief, talking about one's eternity. Mm. Uh, and then can I ask all of us who are reading our English Bibles to start off with verses 44 through to verse 45 to start us off this morning. Amor 
e faia e ia. Tu e fa mana tu mai le upo le tua le tai au le nei le le fenga yai o le tua le tama ma le tua le anu. Pe o ila e le ma faia i ona tali tonu le tamata yutaia. Fa mai le yoane se fulu alona fa upo tonu se fulu mal fitu ma le fa upo tonu se fulu mal vanu. Fa pe o fulu yai. A fai o te le fai anga venga alo ta ma awa ta talitonu mai ya te au. Ai a fai o te fai e ui lava ina o to le talitonu mai ya te au. Ia o to talitonu ina luenga upu ya Yesu. Fa mai ina ia i loe o to ma ia talitonu o i te tonu ya te au le ta ma o a u foi o i te tonu ya te ia. O lo fa pe o na tu ina tu e Yesu manino iluma o tangata yutaia o lo i tu tonu ia te a le te ma o a u foi o i tu tonu ia te ia ah fa lo foi u po Yesu o lo i tu tonu ia te a u le te ma o a u foi o i tu tonu ia te ia a u foi a na le ma fa yai o na tali tonu isara elu o ia o le alu o le tua. The first part of our consequence that we want to look at today is that the consequence of unbelief is the fact that the Jews and the Israelites denied God the Father. How did they do that? They did that by not believing that Jesus was the Son of God. Because we read today in verse 44, Jesus cries out and he says, He who believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And in chapter 5 of uh, the book of John, we studied in verse 19, he says these words here. He specifically says, Most assuredly I say to you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he sees the Father do. He's the Son, and he's talking about God the Father. Verse 20 it says, For the Father loves the Son. When Christ talks about him being the Son of the living God, the Israelites absolutely did not want to hear that. That was something that was blasphemy to them. Yet Jesus was proclaiming this publicly. He was saying in verse 20 of chapter 5, For the Father loves the Son and shows him all the things that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel. So, we were reminded here about the relationship between Christ the Son, Christ being the Son of the living God, or God the Son, and God the Father. But this was the consequence of the Jewish people not believing. Ah, they did not believe, they refused to believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of the living God. For many Praise the Lord. Maleola, ele anua tu lava se tasi ile te ma pe ale ui mai yatia pe ole mata utia le nao ole upu ale atua pole upu a Yesu olo fa a pea ona fa yatu itangata ele ma fai ona anua tu se tasi ile te ma pe ale ui mai yatia amen le o tu e fete la yatu Yesu le te ao le nefa mai ole ba a mai fo i yatia Eva ayatu o ia ia te ia ua au ina mai ia. Pe o i la o lo o faapea o na taunu uwai le le talitonu i tangata isara elu i lo lato le talitonu i le tama. Ai se a ua lato le talitonu i a Yesu ke riso le alo o le atua. The consequence we read in verse 45, And he who sees me sees him who sent me. This was Jesus talking to the crowds of people that refused to believe that he was the Son of God. But uh, in chapter 14 and verse 6, Jesus speaks these words, and he says this to his disciples, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
No one comes to the Father except through me. Again, Jesus is confirming that he is the Son of God. But he's also saying that no one can come to the Father except through the Son. So again, the consequence of unbelief that we're understanding from today's reading is that they deny that God is the Father. Why? Because they refuse to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son. Amen. So this first point reminds us that although the Jews, right to this day, the Jews continue to refuse that Jesus is the Messiah. They continue to deny that Christ is the Messiah. But what we're reminded about today is that if we believe in God the Father, then we must believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the living God. Amen? That, if he's, that Jesus Christ is not only our Savior, but He is also our <coughs> Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Alina, if I can ask you to read 46 for us, please, and then we'll read the psalm one. So if I tell my psalm, what he have? Well, son, all in my love, 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 my I have come into the world as a light, so that no one who believes in me should stay in darkness. So 46, I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me should not abide in darkness. A second part of the sermon today is that the consequence of unbelief is that they will remain in darkness. I have come as the light into the world. Ne <laughs> So Jesus says in verse uh, 46, I have come as a light into the world. But we read last week, Jesus also said something similar in verse 35 and 36. He says, a little while longer, the light is with you. Walk while you have the light. Lest darkness overtakes you. The darkness represents this world, the Lord of this world. Without Christ, the world is in total darkness. And we see that today. Uh-huh. 
Atato va ba yatu ile lalo lani. Ile le tsalitomo le lalo lani. E fa apungi sainda u ma na yona o le lalo lani. So le tsayawa le ni o lo fetsa la Yesu u a o sao o le ma la malama o le lalo lani. Tu la Yesu le tsa apwe valu ma fa ape atu i tsangata na yai ile tsa usaminga ile va itai mi fa mai o a unei o le ma la malama o le lalo lani. Ole muli muli mai ya te au, ele savali oia ile poli uli, ai ya te ia le mana malama ole ola. O upo ia na faalumo lomo ai tangata Israel. So na lato faalumo ai fo i upo na feta la ia Yesu ya te i lato. Na lemo el fa matau pe valu. In chapter eight we see Jesus declare one of his I am statements. And in chapter 8, he's also talking to the Jews. So this is not new messaging. So this is nothing new to what they're hearing. But in chapter 8, verse 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So Jesus is declaring a same message, but because of their unbelief, they continue to remain and darkness ah ona ole le talito mana tua olo ofeta lai upu ya yesu ile moto tangata famaya ele talito mana tua fo ile moto tangata ele talito na famaya popole ile au for sale famaya dey to lie la to ile su nako ale po wata to ilo ole talito ina ia tawu wai upu ale perfecta ole fina ngalo wai le tua if I may so, Yelana Upu le Tayale ne, for my Ua o Sao, Ole Ma la Malama, Ole la Lolani, in a year let to Maupea, Ile Po Uliuli. I petai the Mataupu Mua Mua Labala Yoane le Apostolo. For my to sing a Yoane, Mafa Mongonga, Alenana, but Yena to see I Upune, for my a winger ya ye so. On mala mala ma moni le na te fa mala mala maina tsangata uma lava ilona mali umai ile la lolani le mana ye yo upuna ai fa mai fa upuna la lo ifo fa mai sai le la lolani o ia na ia fa ia fo ile la lolani ai le iloa la ba ia ile la lolani fa mai wa mali umai o ia ilona la ba nu ai le itsaria o ia Iona lava sangata. Le mala malama lea a. Le mala malama lea na fio mai ile lalo lani. E fa mai yo ane. Fa mai na le iloa lava ele lalo lani. Aise a. Ona ole tawu unga ole le tali tonu. So John, he's, John the Apostle writes right in the beginning, the first chapter, in verse 9, John says that the true light, so he's describing Jesus as the true light. He says, which gives light to every man coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, but the world did not know him. Oh. It starts off being a really beautiful statement and a really beautiful description of Jesus. It says that the true light, which gives light to every man, but it says that he was in the world, but the world did not know him. The consequence is that they will remain in darkness. Ah, ole tau unga ole le tali tonu ole tu mau ile po uli. Tali tonu ele ole ele ole fina ngalo ole na ole tama ye fa tu tu a. Le ma fu anga na pe o po linga ma yolo tau tau mai pe e ye su ile nita ya mo tanga tau malaba na le fa mai o o sau ole mala malama ile la lolani. In the ear led to my bear in the pole, you will say, Tassia, a fat to a two of mine, Yatia. That's what a normal yale, he found. Oh, yeah, all the man, Malama. Amen. So, uh, Upo Yesu, the Yuane, Tolu, by first full Maleva, or no yale, fat salana, ah, for my fat sala for your name. In a war, or my man of Malama Ile Lalulan, Aotanata, a silly Lola to Manao Ile Poliuli, 
Lola told me now in a man in Lama. We say, but I know I never I hear you, Ilona, Ilona, no, Mona Tamata, Yamatana Lava, Nanta Pule Tolu, in our Amata, Lena Wenga, I hear you. I live on my Tolu Tau Sanga, or Fafia Nainato, I for my lay, Tanitolu, my pair, Lona Winga, or the Tamu, a two mile pair, in a bowl, you be ah. Praise the Lord, ah. So, Ole manatu na ilu ole tayam ene manatu tolu tatu te ma wel fe pe fasu ma fitu ole si tamu unga le a fasu ma fitu ma fasu ma valu verse forty seven through to verse forty eight ano if I can get you to read those two verses for us please thank you ano if anyone hears my words but does not keep them I will not judge the that person for I did not come to judge the world but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn him at the last day. Thank you. 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 The third point of our sermon today is that a consequence of unbelief is that they will remain in disobedience. So, Ua fa alomo o ia yatea. O le fa ale ao nga yate o to. Ua ia fa ale ao nga yatea. O le fa ale ao nga fo i yatea. Ua ia fa ale ao nga i le na au i na mai na au. O le manatu e tolu. O le le nga wai o tangata fa alomo a. Be e fo li na mai ao yai o ia i le Ilana Maluena Fata Lai, Ile Sofuana Lene, Malila Lani Lene, Fermae Su, A Fai Foi, Fatal Molomo, Setasi, Ya Upu, Aile, Tali, Tonu, Yai, Fame Ayele, Unga, Fame Otele, Fasala Yatea, Awa Otele Sau, E Fasala, Ile Lalulani, A Ye O Fao Laina, E Lalulani, Yatea. For three and a half years, Jesus was in his ministry performing miracles after miracles. Um, telling people to repent, telling people about the kingdom of God, preparing people for the kingdom of God, but still people harden their hearts to hear his words and follow him. So I've given you a reference there in Luke 10, 16, but he says in verse, 40, uh, in verse 47 there, he says these words, and if anyone hears my words and does not believe, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world. So at the end of verse 47 that Amo read, it says, I do not judge him, for I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. 
So we now understand that Jesus, when he first came, when he was first here on earth, he came not to judge the world at that time, but he came to save the world. How did he do that? By being the ultimate sacrifice on the cross of Calvary, being buried, and when he rose again, he atoned our sin. He became the atonement. He replaced our sin through his blood. Amen. So there is a judgment that's coming up. So even though Jesus first came to die, to save the world, 48 tells us that he who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which, which judges him. So there is a judgment. Ah, a judgment is coming. So so yes, Jesus first came to save the world, but he's coming a second time, and that's when he comes to judge the world. Ah. So Jesus already mentions it in verse in chapter five, way back in chapter five, when he's talking with the people of Israel, and we find in verse 28 and verse 29, Jesus says, he talks about the judgment to come. He says here, do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming. Amen? Amen. In which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth. Those who have done good to the resurrection of life. And those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. So for me, upo Yesu ile tayao le nei, o ia te ia le tasi na te fa asala ina ia, o le upu ua o tautala atu wai, e fa asala le ia te ia ile aso ngata anga. Uso matu a fa fine, e fa amasino ina i tato, ile upu le o lo tato fa anongo longo iai. Amen? Ile aso le ngata anga, fa mai le tusi a fa anina, o na fo fo la ilea, O tusi, o mea o malava o lo o tato o whaia ile soifu anga le nei, o lo o whaa mau mau ina, whaa mei, o na fofola i lea o tusi, o fofola fo i male tasi tusi, o le tusi o le ola. Whaa mei, o na whaa masi no ina i lea o e na oti, i mea ua tusia i tusi, e tusa maala toa a mi o pei lava o le whaafamsi no a, e whaafamsi no e whaafamsi no ina, mea o ma e tusi tusia. O mea u mala ve faa mau ni ai, pe tatau ana faa salaina, pele ai, o iai ni faa mau mau nga, pele ai. E faa pe nga foi le ata le o loo au mai ele a fionga, a le atua i le tai au le nei upo i esu fai mai. O e iai at, o ia te ia le tasi na te faa salaina ia, o le upu ua ou tautala atu ai. So we will be judged, brothers and sisters. In the book of Revelations, we read that. Chapter 20, verse 12, and it specifically talks about the white throne judgment, uh, the white, the final judgment. 
And it says in verse 12, And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened. You know, as you live on this side of heaven, everything that you do, all of the actions that you do on this side of heaven, are being recorded. Ah, and that's what it means there. It says, and books were opened. And it also says, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. That's the book to make sure that your name is in that book. Ah, and it says, and the dead were judged according to their works by things which were written in the books. So there is a great responsibility as we're on this side of heaven. Why? Because Jesus says this morning, he says in verse 48, uh, My words has that which judges him. The word that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. So every time you hear the gospel preached, every time the word of God is spoken, you and I have a responsibility because why? Because one day we will be judged for what we have heard. And that's why Jesus says, um, he who rejects me and does not receive my words has that which judges him, the word that I have spoken. So, they remained in disobedience. The Jews and the people that were with Christ at the time, the crowds that were listening to him. But Christ says, I have not come this time to judge. I have come to save the world. So he was preparing to die at the end of the week. But he says, but there will come a time to judge. Ah. And it's the word that I have spoken that will judge thee. So, and then we'll read together 49 and 50 in English. Maolo Tusi Faitao Iya. 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 Thank you, English Bible readers. Yeah. For I did not speak on my own, but the And I know that his command is everlasting life. We've read in our, in our study so far today from our chapter 12 is that the consequences of unbelief is because one denies that God is the Father because they do not believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. We now understand that the consequence of unbelief is that they will remain in darkness because they do not accept that Christ is the light. 
Um, and the other consequence that we've just read is that they will remain in disobedience to the words of Christ. But the final point that I want to bring is that the consequence of unbelief ultimately is one's eternity. In these last two verses, Jesus talks about the command of the Father. He says, For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command. What I should say and what I should speak. So the man nei ei ole faa umal tato mata upule tae ole nei. Ona eto e foi lava Jesu a ngai leva o ia manona tama. Ai tato uva ava ai fe upu ia fa mai nei tu mai le polo a inga ia te au i mea o te fai ia tu wai. Fa mai fe upu ni mas fu uo o i lo a foi o lana polo a inga o le ola e faa va vau lea. Jesus says in forty nine. Um, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command. And in 50, he says, I know that his command is everlasting life. The command that Jesus is talking about, the command of the Father, is about one's eternity. So this command that, uh, that Jesus is talking about, the Father's command, Paul describes it as uh, the gospel of God. Because in Romans 1 verse 1 he says, Paul, a bond servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated to the gospel of God. He then says in verse 16, he says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Amen? Amen. 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 Number one, Number 
לוח נצאנו או יצאנו מצוי צו מי נאי מי אילה סצולו פי או איצוסי או לצאנו ללילה נאמו או איוסו מצוי פאפילי לצאנו ללילה נמליו מי קריסו פמיה של איסאו ופאסה לי ללולן אינו איסאו ופאאו לאינה ללולן ללילה דאיה לצוע או נא או מאום מלאו נאי סעודיה נאי אי הוא יפול ויעשו לה נמליו יסו, איסא, פמי פאולו, נמליו כריסו, עשו יועץ עצור על הסל. מסו יועץ על הסל או ללולני עצור. מסו יועץ על הסל האיסראלו. האמו האמא לאבנוע, רוצה עצור, רוצה נצלו עשי. אמן. פמי, נצלנו ופו יועיע, מצו את צומי, אילי הסוצולו, אפי ואופו ואיצוס. So we're hearing, what is the command? Because Jesus says, But the Father who sent me gave me a command, and I know what his command is, is everlasting life. Paul gives us a clear description of that command. It says this, Brethren, I declare to you the gospel. The command is the gospel. Paul tells us, Hold fast. He says in verse 2, by which also you are saved. This gospel is the gospel that saves. This is the command that Jesus is saying that I've received from the Father. Paul goes on to describe the command or the gospel. He says, for I have delivered to you first of all that which I also received. Number one, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. Praise the Lord. Number two, that he was buried. You know that line there? It's to affirm that Christ died in human form. And this is the greatest part. And that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Now that's his deity. That's his supernatural power. He was buried, but then he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. The gospel, my friends, is that Christ died for our sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Amen? That is the gospel. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing we can do, like we always say, ah, we did absolutely nothing to deserve amazing grace. It was all part of God's plan, all His work, all His doing. So if the only na le ta only ni a, olo almay la se ata matang of ye mo ta to ile ta only ni. Awa olo ta la no ine ta to le ta ulu unga o le le ta li tonu le u ta to ilo almay le ta to mata upu le ta only ni ele ta li tonu se ta si le tu le ta ma pe afai le ta li tonu ya Yesu ke riso le alu. Lua etu mau le tangata le talitonu i le paululi a wa fa mai Yesu o a unei o le mana malama o le lalulani tolo fa mai a e e u i le le nga wa i le upu a le tua a le o tato fa i wina le tato mata apu i le tai a le ni a o le fa ba ba o le tangata fa pe pe a o le e mau ti noa lo fa ba ba Ina ua e iloa le tala le lei, o le tala le lei, o le tala le tonu i le tala le lei, o le tala le lei ia i le maliu o Iesu, ma le tanu mia o ia, ma toe tu mai i le aso tonu, ma bei o upu ua i tusi. So today, brothers and sisters, that's our sermon for the day. Amen? We now understand that there is a consequence of unbelief. But I like the words that we've ended off today, is that the the gospel is this. Um, I'm just going to read it once again. For I delivered to you, first of all, that which I also received. This is the gospel, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So tell me, if I'm on real, if I'm on real, if I'm on real, Um, aya ina pelo uloto fa malosia pe oi lo savali a fai a e lo e fa fisilinia ben o tsa ditonu ya pelei 
Pia olifeso soani ya leuku wali atua moe ya. Poe talitonu, poe alitangata ulo talitonu ili atua. Aile talitonu ole o Yesu Keriso, ole alo ole atua saifua. Poe nala ole tatalo ina hiya nalue pele anama ole alihi ya te oe ya. So today, you've now heard the word again. So we have the privilege of hearing the word every Sunday. Um, but there's the ultimately the consequence of believing and the consequence of not believing now. And my prayer and the encouragement of the brothers and sisters is that we all choose to believe. So for you, Amen. Father, I thank you for the word that I heard today. I am challenged to believe in the death of Jesus, his burial, his resurrection. And I thank you, Father, for the salvation that you have prepared for me. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.